I bet you have noticed a star twinkling in the night sky. Stars can shimmer because of Earth's atmosphere. The turbulent air surrounding our planet affects the starlight, making it look like the star is sparkling. But did you know that even if we traveled outside our atmosphere and paid close attention to the stars, we could still see many of them change brightness? Let's do that. We only have to go about 60 miles or 100 kilometers above Earth's surface to get into space. From here, the stars don't appear to twinkle, but many of the stars we see do get brighter and fainter over time. In fact, some stars dim, brighten, dim again, and so on in less than a second. Other stars can take years to change brightness. The stars that periodically change their brightness are called variable stars. One variable that you can see this month is the star Pleon, a member of the bright star cluster in the constellation Taurus the Bull. This star cluster looks like a small spoon or a very tiny dipper in the sky. You can use another constellation, Orion the Hunter, to help you find this cluster and Pleon. Just use Orion's belt to guide you past Taurus's V-shaped face until you get to that cluster of stars. We call it the Pleiades. You can find the dim variable star Pleon in the handle of this spoon-shaped cluster. You may have to look closely over a few nights, but you should see it change brightness. Binoculars make it a lot easier to observe Pleon and all the other stars in the Pleiades. Check Pleon from night to night and compare it to the other stars in the cluster. Why does Pleon change brightness like this? Well, let's take an imaginary trip to this area in space and see. Pleon rotates in just under 12 hours, so fast that some of the star is forced outward, forming a sort of disk shape around the star. Interactions between the star and this disk can cause minor changes in the star's brightness. With a little practice, you should be able to detect these changes, even from all the way here on Earth. To help you explore Pleon, the Pleiades, and the rest of the night sky, Try using a star chart or a star finder app on your phone, or you can use our special handout. This variable star episode was brought to you by Ball State University, the International Planetarium Society, and the American Association of Variable Star Observers, an international consortium of amateur and professional astronomers. For more information on variable stars and how to observe them, visit their website at aabso.org.